Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll be diving into mass spectrometers, what they are, why they are used, and how they are used in research. I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Mass spectrometers. A mouthful, right? Well, they are actually revolutionary tools that help us visualize molecule quantities as minute as parts per trillion. Think of mass spectrometers as detectives that can identify the tiniest particles and uncover their secrets. They are sophisticated devices that measure the masses of various components within a sample. By analyzing these masses, scientists can determine the composition and chemical structure of a substance. This isn't just useful, it's a cornerstone of modern chemical analysis. But how exactly does a mass spectrometer work? Let's break it down. Think of it as a high-tech racetrack. The process starts with ionization, where the sample is bombarded with energy to turn its components into charged particles, or ions. These ions are then propelled through the spectrometer using electric and magnetic fields. Here's where the race analogy comes in. Heavier ions move slower, while lighter ions race ahead faster. These all are headed towards the detector at the end of the track. When they hit this detector, it is like crossing the finish line. Their mass can be precisely measured based on how long it took them to get there. In essence, molecules are separated based on their mass to charge ratio. This information is then processed to give scientists a detailed picture of the sample's molecular makeup. In healthcare, mass spectrometers are like medical investigators. They play a critical role in identifying biomarkers for diseases, leading to early diagnosis and personalized treatments. For instance, in cancer research, mass spectrometry has been instrumental in understanding the composition of tumors. This is crucial for developing targeted therapies, which are treatments designed to attack specific types of cancer cells without harming the healthy ones. Imagine being able to tailor a cancer treatment specifically to an individual's tumor. That is the kind of breakthrough mass spectrometry is making possible. Turning to chemistry, these devices are just like molecular architects. In drug discovery, they analyze the composition and purity of chemical compounds. This is vital for developing new medications. A mass spectrometer can quickly tell a chemist if a new drug compound has the right molecular structure and if it's free from impurities. This not only speeds up the process of drug development, but also ensures the safety and effectiveness of new medications. So after all this, you may wonder, what really makes mass spectrometers unique? It's their unparalleled accuracy and sensitivity. Imagine a single drop of ink in a giant Olympic-sized swimming pool. That is the kind of sensitivity we are talking about. This precision matters, not just in labs, but in everyday life. It ensures that the food you eat is free from harmful contaminants, the air you breathe is monitored for pollution, and the medicine you take is exactly what it should be. Mass spectrometry affects you more than you may realize. It is used to test doping in sports, to analyze the composition of Asian artifacts, and even detect potential explosives at airports. It is a technology that is making our world safer and more understandable. Looking ahead, the future of mass spectrometry is filled with exciting possibilities. We're moving towards instruments that are even more sensitive, faster, and capable of handling larger samples. This means we could see revolutionary changes in various fields. For example, in environmental monitoring, mass spectrometers could help detect pollutants at even lower concentrations, helping us protect our planet more efficiently. In the field of medicine, they could lead to even earlier diagnosis of diseases, and in pharmaceuticals, the development of new drugs could become quicker and more efficient. The advancements in mass spectrometry also point towards more accessibility. Smaller, more portable mass spectrometers are being developed which opens up more possibilities for on-site analysis in various fields. This means that scientists and researchers can take the technology into the field, whether it's a remote jungle for studying plant compounds or a patient's bedside for immediate medical analysis. Now that we learned quite a bit about mass spectrometers, how about we finish this video off with a little quiz? You got this. Question number one. 
What is the primary function of a mass spectrometer? This one's an easy one. You got it. That's right. To measure the masses of the components in a sample. Question number two. How does a mass spectrometer identify different ions in a sample? That's right. By separating them based on their mass to charge ratio. Last and final question. Which field has not been mentioned as a significant application of mass spectrometry in the video? Is it A, cancer research for targeted therapies? Or B, drug discovery and analysis of chemical compounds? Is it C, designing new electronic devices? Or is it D, environmental monitoring to detect pollutants? That's right. Designing new electronic devices. Great job! Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you learned a few things about a topic that you may have not heard about before. Catch us in the next one. Goodbye.